Hey folks, welcome back to Bischoff's Basement. This is part two of four. I'm gonna be doing this entire worksheet for you uh, so that you can uh, uh, do this yourself at home and turn it in. But I want you to, I want you to be, be sure that you're understanding how to do this, not just copying the answers. Um, so please do this along with me. I'm on number 12 right now, which uh, is at half inch scale. Oh, excuse me, number 10, which is at half inch scale, which is, which means one half of an inch equals a foot. So here we have zero, one, two, three, four. Let's check this out. It is one, two, three feet and some fraction of a foot. So let's move the three foot marker over there and count the inches. Three feet, six inches, just like that. <clears throat> this one is also at half inch. It is one, two, three, four, five, six feet and some fraction of a foot. So let's move that six foot marker over there. It is at six feet, let's see here, one, two, three, four, it's about six feet and four inches. Yeah, six feet, four inches. Now we're gonna move to the three quarter inch scale. <clears throat> three quarter inch, where are you? Here it is. On my ruler it's over on this side, so I'm counting in this direction. Uh, each one of these measurements is each three quarter inch section is a foot. So here's one, two, three feet. Let's measure this guy. It is at one, two, three, four, five, six feet and some fraction of a foot. So we'll move this over to the six foot mark. It is six feet and one, two. Well, look at that, it's right in the middle, but we want to round. So we're gonna go six feet and one, two inches. That can't be right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Two inches. Now we'll move on to three quarter foot heat. This is number 14. I don't know why the numbering did this. That's unusual. This is number 13. This is number 14, number 15, number 16, and number 17. Okay, three quarter inch. It is one, two, three, four, five feet and some fraction. So we're gonna move this over to the five foot mark. And it's gonna be five feet and one, two, three, four, five inches. What's this guy? Three eighths inch. Three eighths inches on the other side of the ruler going this way. So it starts at zero. One, two, three, four, five. Let's measure this one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Right at four feet. Let's measure this guy. Also three eighths inch equals a foot. 13 feet and I'm gonna guess an inch. Let's see what happens here. No, it's, uh, excuse me, I beg your pardon. We are at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 feet and a, some fraction of a foot. 12 feet and three, six, nine, 10 inches. Now we're at 3 sixteenths of an inch equals a foot. It's a scale that isn't used very much, <clears throat> but it is available to us. As you can see, this is 3 sixteenths of an inch, so that's equal to a foot. We're gonna start at the zero over here and go to two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, just under 13 feet. So let's move this over to 12, 12 feet, three, six, nine, Boy, that's, that's so tiny. I'm gonna say 10, 11. That's a tough one. 12 feet, 10 inches. Oh, isn't that interesting? These two are the same length. This is at 3 eighths inch, this is 3 sixteenths, so that's half the length of that. Now we're gonna move to one and a half. Here's your one and a half inch scale. Each one and a half inches is equal to a foot. So this is one, two feet and some fraction. Let's check to see what that fraction is. It's two feet, one, two, three, wait a minute, two feet, one, two, three inches. Two feet, two inches. And then the last one is three inches equal to a foot. It's a tiny little one, it's just a fraction. So it's going to be one, two, three inches.
Okay, my name is Eric Bischoff. My pencil keeps breaking. All right, that is the, the end of page one. We've measured every one of these. So I'm gonna, if I was in class, I would take a picture of this and turn it in. On the next video, I'm gonna go through all of page two.